music was was never something I thought I'd make a living at. Uh, I loved it. I loved singing. It was a lot of fun, but I figured it would last for about two or three years, and then I'd be an engineer, you know, because that's what I graduated as. I, I thought, this this can't last. There's no possible way. I know all the, all the competition out there is no possible way. So I was going to write it for as long as I could, and then, then when it collapsed, I was going to, you know, uh, get a, a real job and, uh, you know, live the, quote, American dream. Well, apparently the American dream for me was music, so I, I've been, uh, you know, very blessed, even through the, the hard times, even through transferring from Hedy's to uh, my, my Petra days. So it was a, it's been quite the ride. I, I still can't figure out why I've been allowed to be, uh, to have this kind of life. Uh, before we got married, I told my wife I was going to be a rock star, and I told my um, uh, engineering professors that I was going to be a rock star. Uh, I told them that because that was the only way they were going to pass me, you know, because by this time I, I hadn't, college was one of those things I just tolerated, you know, it, was, it got in my way of what I wanted to do. And so uh, I actually remember promising a, a professor I would not be an engineer. I promise you I won't be a professor. Just raise my grade up one step. And uh, he did. And I graduated and had full intentions of, by this time, I saw Hetty really starting to cook. And I, I saw a vision. I said, man, it's going to happen. And so um, I was totally uh, honest when I said I'd never do that. I was going to be in music, and that was it. I know I'm contradicting what I said before, but when I said I was going to be in music, I figured for five years and I was going to be a millionaire. I was going to make it be a millionaire. <laughs> Guys, if you want to be a millionaire, don't be a musician. Be a stockbroker or something, okay? Uh, but anyway, um, it was... It was very interesting, very interesting. Well, I got, uh, I got hooked up with drugs and, and booze. Um, I came from a little town, didn't think any, any of that kind of thing would happen. Uh, just totally promised myself I wouldn't fall for that. I was just gonna go play great music and have fun with the crowd. And uh, the problem is, once you have, you know, you can have your dream, but if you have your dream every day, it actually gets boring. And so you're looking for that next high, especially if you're away from home all the time. And I just looked for that next exciting thing. It's funny, but believe it or not, you can get tired of playing in front of 10,000 people every night because it's the same old, same old, same old, you know? And it's like, okay, yeah, oh, great, 10,000 here, great, 10,000 here. It was, like, it was like, okay, what's, and what's the thrill? What's different about it, you know? So then came the booze and, and then the cocaine and... and uh, I got hooked on it pretty well. And it's sort of funny. I mean, I got fired because uh, I was, quote, spacing out or whatever. Well, I wasn't spacing out any more than anybody else in our band. But but it, it was called a power play. There, there was a power play, a lot of shifting around. And, and uh, there'd been a battle between uh, some of the guys and me. And uh, they just needed to get rid of me. And and it was it was for the best. It was for the best for me and probably for them, too. So, um uh, again, the, the two guys that fired me, I sang with uh, three weeks ago and loved it. They're, you know, my buddies still. And really, I, I've gone to them and thanked them both for, for doing what they did because it changed my life. And for six months after I left Head East, I went on a binge. I mean, I thought I drank and coked up before. Oh, man, I went on a, a six-month binge that just about destroyed my life. In fact, at the end of the, I, I almost committed suicide because it seemed like the best thing for me. But as fate will have it, and I don't believe in fate, but my wife got saved. She became a Christian. And during that six month period, I didn't want to hear about that. I don't, you know, I didn't want to hear about Christ. That's, that's for old people. I don't want that kind of stuff. But at that time period, when you're sitting there thinking, okay, how are you going to end your life? And your wife comes and taps you on the back and says, remember, you promised you'd come and talk to my pastor. And I said, when? Last night when you were drunk. So I did. I went and talked to a pastor with no intention of changing my way. You know, uh, I figured that uh, I went for her to remember that I tried. I was going to, I knew how I was going to end my life and walked out of there a Christian. Changed my world. Changed my world and I've never been since. Same since. Did I get music then? No, actually I, I dropped out of music totally because uh, I knew that the temptations were just too easy. You go into the music world, the secular music world is just too easy. Just too much Tim, just, just, it's not a world of God. It really isn't, or at least it was for me. So I had to leave it, and for five years, man, I was out of it. I was totally out of music. I was, uh, 
Um, changed my life, became the engineer that I told the professors I never would be. Um, worked in, a, uh, in Utah, uh, developing an oil shell mine that uh, became a proje assistant project engineer. Just, it, it, was, it was quite a thrill. I mean, it's quite a ride for five years. And, and one day I sat down and said, this must be the American dream. I've got a great church I'm going to. My kids are going to Christian school. I've got my first home, a great job. This must be it. And all of a sudden I felt like God said, nope, this isn't it. Don't be content. Make a long story short, six months later, I'm singing with Petra in, in uh, um, Australia. And that was the beginning of an amazing 20 years. And I, I've seen the whole world, seen the whole world through Petra. And, and through, if anyone doesn't know who Petra is, Petra is a Christian rock band who really for the last 20 years has been a cutting edge thing, which was exactly where I wanted to be. Very rock, but with a very positive message about Jesus Christ. And, and that's the way I've lived. And I love it. I've been, it's been an amazing tale since. I don't regret a thing. I mean, I wish I, that you always are going to, when, when memories plop up, especially during the Hedy's days when I was going through my routine and being the big rock star and spud, sputting off every dirty word I could think of and m many other things that you hear rockers do. Um, every once in a while, a little, little vision will come in. Oh, and I just say, God, forgive me. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry about that. But even that, even that, that past was used for my future because I learned so much with the, in the Hedy's days. I mean, the guys in the band would demand this and demand that. Said, John, you gotta be our lead singer and, and lead singer should do this and they should get up there and be bold and, and be, and they were right. And I learned and I became that way and it's exactly what, what the number one Christian rock band in the world needed. They needed that front man who took control. So as far as I was concerned, God used those seven years of, of learning in Head East five years of getting into the word of being a Christian. That's another thing. I did not get back on the road right off after becoming a Christian. If I had, I'd have, gotten, I'd have been eaten up because being part of a Christian rock band is very demanding and you have to really believe in what you're talking about, singing about, and standing for, or you just get eaten up in a heartbeat. Uh, so it was a beautiful thing. I mean, God used the last 12 years of my life to put me in a position where uh, I've never regretted a minute of it. God's an amazing God, and uh, you know I'm not here to preach, but I'll tell you what: if you're if you're hunting, if you're searching, if you're hungry, go my direction. Find Christ. Find a Christian. Say, what's this all about? Because it makes a difference.